How you too, fam? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all been? <laughs> I'm showing y'all my messy house by mistake. Yeah, I've been so busy. This whole house is really a hot mess. Um, I'm sorry that uh, I haven't been here, but y'all got a lot going on. Y'all know I got finals coming. That's a good thing. I got a break today and tomorrow, but I got a paper to write tonight. So I just want to check in, y'all, and say how y'all doing. You know I've been busy. Look at that. That mess from my birthday. All the candles still sitting up here. Yeah, I've been ordering. God, I like them Hello Fresh meals. I really do like them. I ordered some more of these right here. Yeah. And then I got the two stacks. They're just sitting here. Hadn't had a chance to get to them. Y'all look over this house. It's a hot mess. And then I ordered online. I don't know which candles I got. What is this? Fresh balsam. Um, dish water ready. Uh, which one is this? Sugar pecan pie. And a sugar pecan pie. Apparently, I must have thought that smelled good. I got two of them and two fresh balsams because I didn't see those. The fresh balsam is what I wanted. Didn't see them in store. So I guess I just want to try that uh, sugar, uh, sugar pecan pie. I guess I just want to try it. And it was during the sale, so I went ahead and ordered those. Oh, yeah, let me show y'all what I just got in. Let me show y'all. Ignore the mess. I'm telling y'all, don't talk about me. I've been overwhelmed, overworked. If y'all don't know, I had to share it with y'all because of the having to say. I think I got these boots and it took maybe a week to get here. Um, I ordered them from UGG instead of the normal $189 or $170. I got these for uh, $69. $60 or $69. And y'all, as close as it's getting to... Uh, the end of class. I got two weeks. Week 10 starts next week. And then I got finals. Y'all, I done hopped on the bandwagon for these contracts. Again. But look at these. I thought they were so stinking cute. For $60. And I've been I wanted the Bailey bow ties, but y'all, I done ran over my Uggs. They last a good three years. And then they was falling apart. I probably shouldn't have put them in the washing machine. But yeah, these are on sale. And they got the black ones too. I just want the blue ones because they go with jeans. But these are on sale for $60. If y'all interested, I just thought I'd share that with you. But yeah, I'm looking a hot mess. A whole hot mess. A whole piece of cake hot mess. But anyway, since the, they're having another COVID crisis, I'm going to go ahead and go. So I can buy my house. That's what I've been dying to do. Is buy me a house. I'm not sure. I know I'm going back down south. I just haven't made up my mind. If I'm going to move to Memphis. South Haven. Or probably right outside. I know I want a little country town. Because uh, I done about had enough. I know it sounds bad. It's city living. I'm good. I'm good on that. Let me get y'all set up right here. Give me one minute. If y'all can see my mess, just, just pray for me. <laughs> just pray for me, y'all, because it's hard over here. For you, girl, it is hard. When I tell you it's hard, it's hard. Okay, let's see. I'm finna get ready to do this um, wig review for this unit, y'all. And let me tell y'all, have y'all been seeing them uh, what I wanted and what I got videos? <laughs> well, that's what happened with my hair. That's what I had bought me. I wanted a, a white blonde. And y'all, whoo, we, I don't know if that wig gonna work. Cause this what I got. <laughs> and I put a picture here of what I want. 
it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. But I'm going to go ahead and get cute so we can do this little wig review. A little five-minute review. Um, I got that from Sound Beauty. Actually, I got three units. I might try to get all three of them up this week because uh, I'm going to be heading out next week on the contract. I might try to vlog because I think I'm going to drive. I don't want to fly. I just do not want to fly. But anyway, I got these two from... uh. Saturday skin. It's the glycolic acid. Y'all know I love the glycolic acid. Uh, toner, ten percent toner, and uh, I haven't tried this. This is the Saturday skin four percent. Uh, what does that say? Pore care. The glycolic four percent pore care. So I was happy to get this, and I grabbed this. So shout to Saturday skin for sending this over. But we're gonna go ahead on and uh. Pop this on because I finished my um yeah I know the one I was using in a fat jar. I finished the last one. I still got my backup, but I want to go ahead on and uh use this. So yeah. Again, thank you, Saturday Skin So Merch. Cause I was gonna I like to rotate my tone, so I was gonna go back and order this one. But uh, when I saw, like, yeah, Saturday Skin, you, you gonna send that out? Sure. And I can use this one for a while. So I should get, use it last me at least a good month. And I really want to try this 4% uh, glycolic pore toner. I keep showing y'all this thing. Y'all see, I done got a little bit rusty. Just a little bit. Go ahead on and get this. I'm gonna try this. I think. See, that's why another one on dry. If I can take all my, all my stuff, and I need to go ahead and order my book for my, uh, last class before clinicals, so I can have it here to take with me. But first, I gotta make up my mind to fly or drive. Man, I don't mind driving, but. If I don't have to, and I ain't got to pay for it, girl, girl, I'm trying to, you know, tell myself that. If you ain't got to, why are you if they paying for it? But I can't take everything I want. And when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I don't want to wait on nobody. And what if I end up in a carpool or with somebody that's always late getting off? Or if I'm in my own car... I ain't got that worry. Okay, y'all. I'm going to let this sit and marinate. Marinate for a minute. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and get myself together. I got so much stuff sitting here that I haven't used because I haven't had time. I'm going to open this brush. This is the number 19 brush from Sephora, the most recent one I ordered. I'm going to open this today and use it today, which I will not. I haven't gotten a chance to see if I can use this, which I think I'm going to use this for a, a blending shade because it's not going to be a bronzer for me. This is that Viseart Small Palette that came in Boston Charm. I don't remember what month I haven't used the Say bronzers. I haven't used this um, what is this? Aether Beauty palette. I'm finna get this stuff out together. Oh yeah, I wanna try this too. Did nobody tell me how they like this Bite Beauty? If they got it in their boxy charm, that's where I got it from. The Bite Beauty um, what is it? Change Maker Supercharged Ulster Foundation. Mine in D160. I don't know if it's the right shade, but I really want to use it. And then, I have, what is this? The Eyelid and Dark Circle Corrector. I'm going to use this right now. This was from Damir. Girl, I'm going to see. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a skincare product. I'm going to put this on my sink. Ooh, it feels good. It's nice and cold. 
put this off my sink so I can use it a little more often. But yeah, let me go ahead and slap on my brows. Cause I got to got to get the uh COVID vaccine booster. So I'm getting ready to go get that done. And uh let me just go ahead on and drop me some brows real quick. Yeah, uh. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like, get like this. about bright about mm, bite beauty foundation but I like the finish it looks good I have to show you all my stuff they picked a good shade huh like this change maker hmm huh. let's just see how it hold up though well, I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this I need a powder. I don't have a powder. I'll go with this milk makeup. Yeah, I done had this for just about forever. Like this. No. Could be a little bit darker. Now let's see about this Alteria palette. This is darkest shade. 
It's all I got, I'm dreaming Or could it be a future for you and me? She loves me, I know it's true Or maybe I'm the fool for you I don't usually There's some good shadows I don't think Aether, I said Aether, I don't think I tried any Aether beauty eyeshadows before. That was a lot of pigment. I don't want any color. So, I mean, I don't want to be bold with it, what I'm saying. I think I'll just go. Move this on the lid. Oh yeah, this little palette going with me. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like get like this. Mm. Okay, one more thing I haven't used. Say bronzer. Tried to catch you falling. Instead, I fell off myself and I just can't stop falling. These wings are gonna flap for me if I keep waiting. Keep waiting, keep waiting. Get so dizzy thinking of you. I don't usually get like this. I don't get like this. it's something about you. I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you. Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like it. Huh. I like this. I like this. I went. I forgot. I got the brush right here. <laughs> wow. I forgot all about it. This is definitely going in my travel bag. Yes, it is. I like that. Let's see how this. What did I do with it? You know what? I'm just gonna use this. that I never use and it need to be more than just cute in my, you know, collection. <laughs> She loves me, she loves me not. This bouquet is all I got. I'm dreaming, or could it be a future for you and me? She loves me, I know it's true. Maybe I'm the fool for you. Yep, that's going with me. Like this. 
today and this just gonna be what it is cuz uh, I can't be late don't want to reschedule I already don't want to take this booster I want to wait and see but uh, I don't want to wait but since I'm, I'm I don't know how to say it since I'm going back in the trenches again um, I ain't gonna be foolish. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, now to deal with this what I got versus what I wanted. All this turned real blonde and super light, but uh, I didn't get the color I wanted. Anyway, see you guys in a minute. Hi guys. I'm in the car and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Gonna go knock this booster on out. Get oh the music shoots. I hope that wasn't too long. I didn't realize it was still playing. But anyway, then I got to go uh get my clothes packed up and ready to go. <sighs> then I got one more week of assignments and uh a final two finals for both classes so I waited till as close as I could to be done with this class but uh anytime these two classes the pharmacology and the advanced health assessment so I got this is week nine it's only 11 weeks in each class so uh, I got two more weeks left. Well, next week will be week 10, starting Monday. So I'm working on those assignments. That's the, the assignments that I'm getting done now. So next week, all I got to do is submit them. And uh, once I get where I'm going, I'll let y'all know where I'm going. And then uh, once I get there, all I got to do is study for the two finals. And then I got two weeks off. It's only a six-week contract. So I figure... Um, the two weeks will give me enough time. I give me enough time to uh, what the first week is gonna be week ten. The second week I'm there is gonna be my week eleven. Then I got two weeks off, so that's four weeks. And the start of the new class, I only be there for two more weeks. So, and that's another thing I got to do. I'm glad I'm talking about this with you guys because I would have forgot. I gotta get my um book order. I got to get my book order for the next term since I'll still be there two weeks into it. So, that's another thing I got to do and make sure I have that book before. At the next light, turn right. Before Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, I do that when I get done with all of this ripping and running and running around. I got to do the drug screen. I got to, uh, go get my COVID booster and my uh, hair flu shot. I hope that ain't too much at one time and have me bent over and feeling like crap before I leave. But that's what all I'm finna go do now. And I'm going to Sephora because I bought that. Uh, I decided to go ahead and exchange At the light, it. turn right onto East University Drive. I'm sorry, y'all, that thing loud. But I decided to go ahead and exchange this. And, uh, matter and that's what I'm gonna do because it's really it really is too dark I tried to make it work but I got so much makeup 
that's just foolishness and it's a waste of money so I might as well just go ahead and uh, take it back I think it's number five I'm gonna get and get something that I can use so I'm gonna get number five and I'm gonna pick up that Norris foundation into this thing won't let me live I'm gonna pick up that Norris foundation and I'm gonna uh, what else that's it. That's all I'm going to get. The Norris Foundation. And I'm going to uh, take that Dior back. And I think I'm going to smell that Ruby. Ruby Somebody Foundation. Some nice apartments over there. But I'm, I'm, I'm sick of the, the traffic for Texas. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Whole nother story. <sighs> but anyway. I wouldn't want to live in no apartment. No way. It's just too much. You got to deal with the neighbors. I changed subjects, didn't I? But anyway, y'all, I'm headed to get my, uh, to CVS to get my, uh, booster. I know I'm just rambling at this point, so. I'm finally done, guys. Drug screen done. Flu shot done. This is what I hate about the city. Those two momentarily things, the drive just made it take forever. I left home at 1 o'clock. It's now 4.30. Traffic is horrible. But I'm determined to get to this Sephora to make these returns before it's really, really too late to return the stuff. So... I'm going to get out here in this traffic and uh, pray for me because these folks here, they just Texas drivers are just Dick's respectful drivers. They drive like you driving on their land and it's crazy. It's just crazy. You know, the way you would think somebody would act if you was driving across their prop. I mean, they just, it's just rude. And they don't care what we'll cause a wreck in a minute. So I just stay out of it. And I'm on hold in my ear, so if I'm talking stupid, that's because I it's it's annoying. I've been listening to this music for the longest. Uh, but yeah, I was just checking in again with y'all. To let y'all know. To let y'all know. But, um, I haven't went to tour yet. And it depends on how crowded it is. If I'm driving down here, I'm going. So I'm just going to ease. I'm not in a rush in this traffic. And the sun is on the wrong direction. So, y'all, we got a little bit of a uh, shadow. I don't know what you call it. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so discombobulated right now. Because I intended to go eat. And I just passed it. I want to go to Olive Garden and get a salad. Maybe that's what I do. And by the time I come out of there, traffic may have died down. That's what I want. I want a salad. I just got to figure out where, uh, what a dang Olive Garden is. Oh, it's down some more. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. And hopefully by the time I sit down, eat a salad and some pasta, and drink a bottle of wine, the traffic will be way much, much lighter. That's what I'm going to hope for. Uh, let's see. I think it's over here by this Walmart. Ooh, Panera Bread. You know what? I tried that Panera Bread pizza, and it was not that good. I don't know if it was the Panera's I went to, but that broccoli and cheese soup. I'm going to Olive Garden. That's where I'm going to go. I really want some chicken. Uh, what was it? The chicken pasta? It was spaghetti. I can't remember what it was. And I want a salad. So, And this would be something nice and cool for me to do. I feel bad because I ain't taking Yoshi. And I done turned, y'all, 
I'm talking like y'all really here not paying attention. Going the wrong darn way. I don't know what this Kung Fu tea is. But I know I didn't intend to come to no Kung Fu tea. <laughs> that, that tea ain't going to fill me up. Unless maybe Japanese food. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, Olive Garden is what I want. Give me a glass of wine. A salad. And some chicken fettuccine. That's what I want. And don't let it be packed. Because if it is, I just did all that for nothing. Oh, man, I should have. It ain't too packed. It's, it ain't too bad. I'm going in. Let this traffic die down some. I'm going to get my little mask out. Okay, I'll see y'all when we get in the restaurant. Finally, head home. 
finally, I need to turn the music off. I'm finally getting ready to go home. I'm just now leaving the mall. It's dark. I don't know if it's too dark after I get out of the carport. But if it is, guys, I'll pick you up once I make it home. And no, I didn't go do anything else. I went straight to Sephora and I came out. That was it. And uh, it's now, what time is it? I'm telling you, traffic is everything. It is 6.49. It's been my whole day. So I probably won't get any of this stuff edited today uh, or tomorrow. But maybe I'll get this video up before, definitely before I leave. So, uh, yeah, because I got those two long assignments uh, that I got to write ahead of time. I got to do it Saturday because I won't have another day to get it done. Yeah, hold on. I got to turn this down. Uh, GPS on. We know I don't know my way around. Okay. Now, as I was saying, um, I, I think I did get to pick it up a little bit, the camera up a little bit in there and get some, uh, just some little shots. I was really looking at the Tom Ford, but I don't like the way, <laughs> so it's going to be looking at me kind of cocky and crazy. Turn left Road East. Then turn left onto Sorry about that, y'all. So I prefer to order online versus in store. So I just did a quick shot of some of the what they have that's Pat McGrath and what they have that's Tom Ford. And uh I was really wanting to look and see if I saw the new Tom Ford uh it's a, a eyeshadow palette. I couldn't remember the name of it. But like I said, I don't like them folks be looking at me crazy. So if it's in there, I go home and order it and make it uh pick up in store. And that way I ain't gotta go through all that. Cause it's crazy in the south. And I just I just can't. So I rather really just order it, pay for it, and pick it up. Which is so easy for me to go in and say, here I ordered this stuff, it don't work for me. I need to exchange it. Or get something else, and yeah, everybody in that store said that uh, Go past this replica smelled one, horrible. So I was like, dang, I just been holding on to it. I should have been bought it back. So yeah. Anyway, I'll holler at you guys when I get home because it is uh dark, and I'm not sure how well the video quality gonna be looking. And I did not intend to stay my butt out to this time of night. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and I'll pick you guys up whenever I make it to the house. Because my makeup gone anyway. I know I'm looking about ten four times a toe up. Y'all, my mask been on and off. I'm going to sleep good tonight. Because I usually don't go anywhere other than to my computer and to bed. I'm talking again, huh? This a long drive in the dark. See, right now is wish I wish YouTube could be interactive. I could just click YouTube, and everybody would have a uh, um, anybody could just pop up and be like, "Girl, what you doing? What's up?" You know, everybody would have a a, a few minutes to climb in and say something. And you could answer questions versus typing, so I could be driving and talking to y'all. Right, right, girl, I'm gonna go. I'm telling you, that's gonna be the YouTube future watch you can talk to anybody over the world in a live video at that moment i'm speaking <laughs> they need to you two need to kick me a couple dollars for that idea they probably already working on that idea y'all <sighs> okay all right i'm gonna quit talking i pick yellow when i get home i just don't want to drive in the dark by myself but it's okay i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys it's uh obviously two days later and I'm trying to see. Okay. And I finally uh, picked the camera up again. Y'all was tired. That traffic be wearing me out. 
But I didn't forget about y'all. I didn't open nothing. I just bought my little bag from Sephora and set it right here so I can show you. Oh, I got a uh, order from the Victoria's Secret to my own sale too. I want to share with y'all. But this is stuff that I got from Sephora. I got the NARS foundation. Uh, what is it? The light reflecting foundation. I got it in medium deep Macau. Every time I get a foundation, I think last time I got the Marquise and it was too dark. And then I got Bling and it didn't work. So I decided to try this one. And it looks like a good shade. So yeah. And then yeah, I got this palette. The Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty. It was on sale. I'm telling you, it was on sale for $33. For $65, I was like, I know I said I was going to stop with the collecting makeup. But I couldn't resist the price. And let me set the camera down so I can show you what it looked like. Yeah, that should be good right there. Okay. I know everybody done seen this palette because I've been having my eye on it, but I got so many beauty palettes that I gave to my daughters. I said I was not going to buy this one, especially when it's the crazy shades. But I really like the blue and the glitter that go on top. And then the mauves. And it's got brown, so I had to get it. In the sale, in the sale. In the cell. So, yeah. And I'll show you what else I got. I exchanged the backstage. I did. They didn't have um, five in, so I went with six in. And I hope that works for me. And I just kept the, uh, I'm going to tell you, my intention. No, no, I did. I did. I exchanged. I exchanged. I think it was seven in for six in. Yeah, that's what I did. So, yeah. And then I picked up two other Huda Beauty um, heat gloss bombs. The two that I didn't have. And that's the new one that just came out. The La Vanilla. That's what it looks like. I swatch it. Oh, it's got a little gold to it. I thought it was gonna be all clear. Little gold looking glitters. Let me go answer this one. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. The other one I got was uh the Fenty Fussy. I got the Fussy Gloss Bomb, but I don't have a gloss bomb heat and, and fussy I got a lot of fussies or oh, shoots I got a lot of the Fenty's because I, I love Fenty that's what all of the, all of these are I love Fenty uh, gloss lip products so I want to get fussy I thought it was right there to see what the original look like yeah, this is fussy. This is the regular one, and this is the fussy heat. And they don't do, girl, they don't do no lip plumping. Oh, that is pretty. I got to put some of this on. Okay. That's what I like. It don't tingle. It don't burn. It's just, I don't know. I like these. I use almost the red one up. It's the main one I use. Don't do no plumping, but it'll keep your lips from getting super chopped. And then the next thing I got, y'all, I was in there because I wanted to get the big bottle of this Nest um, Mascara, Madagascar Vanilla. Man, I smelled this and I was like, oh, that smells so good. I'm putting it on. I don't need to put it on. But it was a big bottle of oil for like, I don't know, I think it was $99. But I, versus getting the oil, I decided to get the roll on. And get this Burberry Her. I smell this by accident. Y'all, this scent smells so freaking good. I was going to get the, um, I was in the whole section 
to get the um flower bomb, the new flower bomb. But when I snapped it in the store, it's not, it didn't smell, but not a lot of scent was on it. So I started sniffing on different fragrances and I came across this Burberry herb. Y'all, this smells so good. It reminds me of um, the Baccarat. That's what it reminds me of. And I refuse to buy the Baccarat because it's too dang expensive. So I got this instead. And I like it. And I'm happy with my purchase. Okay. And that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got in Sephora. So now, I guess I'll move y'all to the other side of my junk pile. Over here, as y'all can see, everything I got in this order was $15, $17, $22. This was the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. And I personally was not um, intending to do this. But when I got on the site, I don't know. I love Victoria's Secret. They, the clothes are just so comfortable. I ended up getting these. Um, this was new. I haven't seen these. And they just some uh, red joggers with the pink on the leg. And it says the original price was $49. And as we know, I didn't pay that much for that. Um, where are they? They were $23. And then I got a jacket to match. Can't beat that, y'all. Can't beat it. Oh, this is the pullover. I thought it was a jacket. I guess I'll wear this to the airport. And give me some long johns to go under it. Because you know, Victoria's Secrets is not that thick. It's real thin material. That's why I refuse to pay full price for this. But I thought this set was so cute. Because I got me some, uh, I can't think of the name of the Nikes, but they all red. So I figured this would be cute to go with it. How much is that? The pullover was $23. And the price was $55. This is not thick enough for $55, but that's what it would have been had not been in the sale. And uh, I don't know, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all before y'all, somebody else say it. I was on a red kick. I think that might slick be my favorite color because I knew I got the jacket too. And then I saw the pillow and I wanted it. So, yeah. <laughs> Before anybody say something. And you know these are thin. That's what it looks like. That's the jacket. And it says the jacket was $55. Course, it's got that little thin tail hood that they don't keep nobody warm. And uh, how much was that jacket? Full zip, it was $23. Not no $55. No way. So this almost had to be 55% off. And then the next thing I got to hear is the t shirt. You got to, y'all, come on. I'm from the old school. And I was trying to get red stuff to match my bright red Nikes. This is the t-shirt. This is what it looks like from the back. And there's, this is the front. It has a pocket on it. Yes. And it was, it says $34 on the tag. And I know, again, I didn't pay that for the t-shirt. Short sleeve tee. Huh, $27. It must not have been that much of a discount from 34 to 27 but it matched everything else I was getting so I went ahead and got it and I think that is a super cute okay what else I got in here I think that should be it oh okay well I guess not my eyes was bigger than my pocket I think I got this shirt to go under that little jogging suit instead of wearing all red it says this one was 26 originally. Um, Everyday Perfect. How much was this? 
Everyday Tea. This one was twenty one dollars. It was thirty two originally, but I got it for twenty one. And that's what it looks like. It's just a black T-shirt. Nothing's on the back. This is just a plain tee. It just said, "This is what you pay for right here." The pink. <laughs> what I pay for, I, but I like it. And then I got this. I know this was five dollars because they was having a sale. No, it was fifty. No, how much was this? The starter relaxer kit was eleven seventy three. That's what it was. Eleven seventy three. This is in my suitcase for my trip. And I got the uh, lavender vanilla. It's got the spray, the body lotion, the exfoliating, what does that say? Exfoliating body scrub and a moisturizing cream body wash for 15 bucks. 5, 10, 15. I guess you paid a little under $5 for each one. But, you know. But yeah, no. I don't know. I wonder what the original price was. Retail value of 40 Well, if I paid 15 I don't know. It's not on there, y'all. And then, I got this. Now, this is the cutest thing, y'all. This is going to be put my little whole outfit together. I got me a little beanie hat. Like that. And it's got pink on the front. It's a little bucket hat. I don't know why I said beanie, but it's a little bucket hat with pink on it. I think this is cute. It was $19.95. I don't know if y'all can see it if I'm in the camera view. But yeah, I think that's really cute. And, uh, oh, they put a, see, they make sure they bring you back a $20 off. $50 purchase to make you get some more stuff. And then, I see these that period draws. But I wanted these draws so they look like boy shorts. You guys see that? That's that uh, pink period pen. But they look like uh, boxing shorts. You know what I'm talking about? Like men boxer draws. That's what they say. Box boy short. Shorty extra. We ain't got to talk about the extra large for it. I hope they, but I think, yeah, see, this is why one, they look like boxers. Yes. These are the most comfortable straws. Oh, man. They got a big, thick thing in the middle. Well. And they got the uh, 1986 over here. And they huge. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll still be super duper comfortable. I hope. Because I want them because they were red. And they look like uh, boxer shorts. All this extra mess. <sighs> Maybe I can cut this little thing out and slide it out of there. We'll see. I don't know. Okay, y'all. And that's it I got from Victoria's Secrets. Okay, guys, I was looking at these shorts. I like these. And then when you turn them on the inside, that lining in there is black. But uh, I don't really need that kind of coverage no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that, but I like these shorts. Okay, I'm going to quit talking about the shorts. I was sitting here to get ready to do another wig review. I got one from Ali um, Express hairs and then i got another one i started to do them in one video but they might not want me to do that since i'm showing y'all they might not that they paying me i just you know i want to look good when i do them so maybe i just do one at the net no i'm just saying <laughs> but anyway i was i got these contacts in y'all they from uh mint eye okay guys these are the contacts came packaged and this is the card that was on the inside. It just says Mint Eye. 
and then thank you for your purchase and it you know telling you to wash your hands which you should know before you put in lenses and they even suggest that prior to um, wearing your contacts that you let them soak for eight hours so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today because I've, I've never done that but since this is what this company suggests this is what um, I will be doing okay let's just get into it the packaging comes you get four of these for keeping your contact lenses in because I have uh, two four six eight and I have eight boxes only four pair because I have different vision in each eye the first pair I have here is called um, elf brown and it has mint eye on the back it just says soft contact lenses um, and then it just has you know information about the, the lenses and these are supposed to last you for a year and then my vision of course because I am technically blind without my glasses and I get one pair in each box and this is what they look like and that's that brown and then this one is Hawaii green and this is what that looks like in the package and this is just has my vision of course Hawaii gray and that's what that looks like in the package and the front just has my vision pretty much just like the same lenses that I get from my um, optometrist and then this last pair is LA girl and it's the green and then the package just looks like this so I'm super excited for new lenses y'all know I wear contacts on a daily so yeah let's get into the video okay guys I went ahead and opened each one up and put them in a little container with the name on the back and in the container the little carrying case for your contacts those of you that use applicators to put your contacts in they put that in there too and I was reading these contacts last up to a year these are the long wear so I'm really hoping they the real deal. Y'all know how much year contact lenses are there expensive versus the throwaway. But anyway, this is the green color Hawaii. And as y'all can see, um, does it have my prescription on here? No, it doesn't say. It's just got the base curve and all the, uh, you know, the hoopla on the back to tell you about the contacts. So we're going to pop these in, this green, and see what it looks like. Hawaii green. Oh, that's kind of bright. <laughs> it is what it say it is, y'all. It is what it say it is. It is definitely an Hawaii green. Oh, that's kind of sexy. That's that's kind of cute. <laughs> Girl, I got to get my makeup on with these. Girl, oh. What y'all think? It looked like a greenish brown. Okay, okay. Let me go to the next pair because I got to get this wig review up. I just wanted to go ahead and share these with y'all real quick. Because to tell you the truth, I've been had these since uh, December of last year but I, I I got to do it I got to go ahead and get it up because that's what they sent to me for you know to share with you guys because they got good prices and I just got busy with uh contracts so 
yeah we getting it done now okay the next one here is uh, the brown the elf one I put the sticker on the bottom of that so I could keep up with which one was which and you get the same thing in each little container let's see what this F brown looks like oh this look like a grayish brown let's see That's cute. That's different. Look kind of like cat eyes. But it's cute. And that's the solution coming running out of my eye. They're comfortable too. Elf. These are LA Green. Just picking up this LA Green. I used to always have long nails. So that's how I got used to doing it with the back of my hand. Oh, wait a minute. That look like two different colors. Do y'all notice that? It looks like two different colors. One looks way brighter than the other. Maybe it's because of the light I'm in. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's more light on this side of my face. Or is that just really brighter? No, that's really brighter. Girl, I hope I ain't mix these contacts up. <laughs> No, those look like two different colors. One is really, really lighter than the other green. Can y'all tell that? Okay. All right. Just want to make sure that I wasn't slipping and tripping. Okay. Okay, I don't lost, I don't confuse myself now. And that's the elf brown. Okay, that's what this says on the back. It says LA green. But this eye is a lot brighter than this eye. those are a perfect match <sighs> I mixed them up y'all I did I think this is the uh, Hawaii green I'll just come in and check it out
that don't match either. I don't know. I think they sent me two different lenses because this is not as bright as this. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty great. Oh no, that looked like a uh, what's that dog? A husky. Look like the color of a husky's eyes. Oh, that's freaky. That's freaky. <laughs> oh no. I thought this was going to be the pair I keep in, but uh I look like a husky. <laughs> oh wow. For the right skin tone, this would be cute. But I look like I'm about to start in a horror movie, so um But it's it, it would be cute for the right skin tone, a little bit lighter, less dark eyes so the pupil wouldn't be so black. Yeah, but uh-uh. Let me just move right along. I think these are the ones I'm going to wear today. If you in the market for some inexpensive long wear contacts that you can have your vision in. You know, if you blind, if you need them, you can have them with vision or without vision. Check out Mint Eye. Um... They put the Instagram handle. Oh, there it is. Let me zoom out so you guys can sort of zoom in. There. You can see all the information. The Instagram and um, I think it's their Facebook. Follow at Mint Eye Official Instagram. And uh, I don't know. Here, I'll put it back up here so y'all can get a screenshot and see that. Okay, now I'm supposed to get ready to do this quick hair video. <laughs> company I'm losing it losing my way only get through when it's you plus me I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry honestly can't you just call me where you at where'd you go babe let me fix my mistakes wish you could be here right now lay here by my side all day
I'm finally here. I'm looking like who did it, what fuck, don't do it no more. My suitcase is not unpacked. It's 12.04 at night. And uh, I'm finna lay it down. <laughs> we turn sideways. It's time to take a nap, okay? I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Good night.